Y'all, we have time for just one more segment. And of course, this is our jam of the week. There, oh, we got some fucking disco, everybody. Do y'all know this uh, this tune here? Rod Stewart and okay. his song, Do You Think oh, I'm yeah. Sexy? Classic. From the album Blondes Have More Fun from 1978. Wow. Max, this song has 278 million views, 38,357 comments, and y'all... Wow. I read wow. every goddamn last one of them. Good on. Somebody has uh, to. Yeah. Somebody's got to do it. Uh, so. You're a glutton for punishment. Yeah, I've had two hour watching Putin, two hour uh, Putin interviews and <laughs> every comment. <laughs> well, I, I wanted to shout out in the Discord, Doctor Shani, who uh, suggested this and did a little bit of the. Uh, <laughs> I thought you were going to say that's like your therapist who no, <laughs> no, no, discourages no. you from no. doing this. We need one of those for yeah, reasons, yeah. though. We've been trying for years. <laughs> Dr. Shawnee found a couple of these for me, and uh, you know, if you want to hear more about this song and disco crossover music in general, episode 165 of this podcast is all about disco crossover, but uh, let's get down to what the people think. Who cares what we think? First up in the YouTube comments, Dos Feliciano from two years ago. <laughs> Yo, can I get an MP3 of this that I can download? This was two years ago? Yeah. All right. Okay. Old people. Love them. I don't know if it's an old pe- person. Uh, oh, just I think. a tech illiterate <laughs> yeah. person. I mean, is- they, they at least know what an MP3 <laughs> yeah. is. This is just a regular <laughs> dude from Florida. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'd be yeah. <laughs> MP3 is a little, that's, that's above the belt for like. If an old person knew an MP3, I'd be, I'd be like shocked. <laughs> yeah. I'd be so impressed. Definitely. <laughs> I don't know, man. Gen Xers are getting older every day. You That's never know. Yeah. Uh, next up, Tim Valleys from five years ago. When this song was popular on the radio, I was banging an average of three to four different girls a week. <laughs> Damn, putting up numbers. Coming in strong, man. man. I was a young, hot-looking construction worker with a 68 Camaro. Ah, the good old days. And I was just thinking, yeah, I was a hot construction worker. My best friends were a Native American guy, a cop, Wait. a cowboy, a leather I believe guy. it. I That's believe. all he wrote? Yeah. <laughs> no, I, the good old days. I believe everything about that, yeah. unfortunately. I bet he's not. No, that is for sure his truth that he's speaking. <laughs> he just, I love how strong he comes in. <laughs> yeah, oh. I was hooking up. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Rod makes me think of here. Yeah, man. I'm just glad a lot of ladies are getting some loving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. from That's this all like, I care distinguished about. gentleman. <laughs> yeah. Hot construction uh, worker. You don't want that to keep going because he is a construction worker because it would just be like, yeah. nowadays you can't even holler at him yeah, from, the, yeah, yeah. from your turn. fucking <laughs> construction site. <laughs> He'd pull out a few like uh, Cucker, Tucker Carlson. Yeah, yeah. Points. yeah. So God, cool. yeah. I've had three to four chicks a week. Now I get three to four medium articles written about me. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> um, next up, Noah Patrick from five months ago. Who didn't think Rod was sexy? Women wanted Stuart's Rod dancing inside of them. <laughs> I bet those were the same two people. Yeah. <laughs> he forgot to log back in. Yeah, so he had to make another account. Yeah. Yeah. He says, uh, yeah, he wanted Rod dancing inside of him, and dudes wanted to be Stuart's Rod. Whoa, yeah. oh, okay. Not Wait Rod Stewart, the, specifically the, his Rod. Want to man. be his penis. Yeah. 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 Man, I wish I was that guy's dick. That'd be so <laughs> fucking cool. <man>. Yeah. <laughs> I was that guy's dick. <laughs> That's uh, a really uh, low you, bar for do you know how human consciousness <laughs> works, man? He says, I'm mind blown that grown ups actually let me listen to this in my childhood. Yeah. I'm still sexy at 51 years old today. Something comes to mind. Were there any babies made to this and how many? If not on the dance floor, which would be kick ass to see. Yeah, man. It's like literally yeah. someone making a baby yeah, on the dance someone floor. someone giving birth yeah. on the, my favorite <laughs> club. That'd be, yeah. I looked over and the conception was yeah, happening. Yeah. It was an immaculate conception. I could tell there was no condom involved. <laughs> yeah. Deep, I, passionate thrust. I was baby so was made. I was conceived and delivered at Studio 54. <laughs> <laughs> I like how he said he was he surprised anyone let him listen to this. Yeah, it yeah. It just shows like how much how worse music has gotten. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he says sexy. It's, yeah. Uh, Grim Calypso from five years ago. I wonder if he still plays this live. LOL. That'd be the funniest fucking ever. What? Uh, and I looked it up. According to setlist.com, Rod Stewart played Do You Think I'm Sexy 72 hours ago at his show in Jacksonville, Florida. Wow. Okay. So right. Still yeah. plays it. Um, also, why would he not? 
It's one of his biggest know, fucking man. songs. Because he's they not sexy tired. anymore. Yeah, I think that's the I think that's the bad joke I, they were going yeah, for. Okay. Probably like clinical depression. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't feel very sexy as <laughs> this. Well, I start looking at his set list. He doesn't play Ooh La La at every show, but he does play this one. So anyway. Uh, for no, damn. I know, yeah, right? Do you even know what that song is? I got is? no me, damn me, idea. Me neither. <laughs> you know it if you heard it. Uh, <laughs> Alex Pagan from four years ago. The neighborhood drunk would sing this to every woman walking past the corner liquor store when I was a kid. <laughs> He's talking about himself. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I survived being a neighborhood drunk for 35 years. Mishi Kiku from one year ago. I heard this song in Atlantic City. The song played like 20 times in Bally's Casino. Someone had drugged me with embalming fluid, and this played over and over. <laughs> wow. That's like such a right. <laughs> I know. This is such a good song. Yeah, Once I got him drugged. With the, <laughs> it would hit him with the laced blunt <laughs> while the Rod Stewart was jamming. This played over and over That's while so the funny. casino filled up with smoke from hallucinating. I'm 26, by the way. Hell yeah. Dude, that is a yeah. weird. <laughs> is a, They're still is... getting laced up in Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out, everyone. <laughs> Uh, roll your own shit. Yeah. <laughs> Man, this Rod Stewart song is cool. Uh, it's full of smoke. That's so I mean, like, is my <laughs> face melting right now, by the way? Dude, time's weird. <laughs> Every other tooth hurts. <laughs> uh, Shanna Kellett from three years ago. Yeah, I do think I'm sexy. Reality checking is my shit, you know. Just got to admit, through all the bullshit mind fuck, there's got to be a God in heaven. It's a shame. I have to be aware and politically correct. Uh oh! Now this is that the con- this smoked. is the construction worker. Yeah. Is uh, that guy continuing. also hit that laced blunt? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Times have changed, huh? It's sad, and actually, it's all caps. The most stupid, fucked up bullshit I've ever heard. Yeah. Damn, no wonder God wants to blow this bitch rock we're living on to smithereens. You know what's crazy? That same <laughs> comment is probably <laughs> under, like, the baby shark YouTube. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Must be cool as fuck to have to sit back and take face slaps like God does for a long time. But that's it? another prime example of doing what badasses do. LOL. Stay cool. You say face slaps? So what they are saying is that God sits back and lets people abuse his name. Okay. He's they're slapping God in the face and sure. he just hangs back and he takes it because he's a badass. He's cool. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah, hey, God could God kind of sounds like a pushover. I, man, I was not just thinking that. Yeah. But maybe I'm you know maybe we're not thinking about the, the Lord well, correctly. People are like, respecting God <laughs> yeah. is the problem. Yeah. It seems to be his issue. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think God needs to respect God first. <laughs> yeah. That's where it starts. <laughs> yeah, brother. Rashad Thompson from five years ago. I know I Rod Stewart fuck all the bitch and was eating all the women. My Ooh, man. <laughs> Jesus yes. Christ. He's eating out every girl. <laughs> that guy's backstage. having a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a couple like that. Uh, this one, Kirk Waltstein from five years ago. I nearly my ass kicked for liking disco. I was in middle school when this was new. I nearly got hospitalized just because some people thought I liked it. They painted me and called me Joe Disco. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Joe Disco, hey, Joe come Di- over here. You I got to get I just, painted. I, I got a bucket for you. I love a bunch of middle schoolers chasing a kid with Your paint rollers. Joe Disco now <laughs> that we painted you. <laughs> this was America in 1978. Fuck them. I still think it sounds better than Ozzy Osbourne, and people who listen to that hated Disco. <laughs> The, the, what an old argument. Yeah. <laughs> what a dated fucking that argument. That is funny to be like, yeah, I used to get my ass kicked <laughs> jamming this shit. They, I didn't even like it, but yeah. now I love it. <laughs> I trauma bonded with this song. <laughs> yeah, call me Joe Disco. <laughs> Fuck you, motherfucker. Fuck you, man. I'm insane. By <laughs> <way>. <laughs> uh, David C. from three years ago, and this is all caps. I'm here at home now. At the home of the NFL Jaguars football team. Love the nice. Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders. Okay. They should do the boogie woogie for the upcoming Atlanta Falcons game. I want a wife who knows this song in bed. She must know all the words to the song. I will get her the clothing she needs. <laughs> I prefer I, I prefer that she already knows how to do dance. He doesn't even know what the video is. <laughs> the boogie <laughs> wrote a comment for it. She knows how to do dance. The boogie woogie taught by nude men. Sincerely, David P. Craft. 
why, why, why? I love that he's like, yeah, I'm, I'm at the home of the Jaguars. So right he's now. in Jacksonville. He's, he's, he's in Jacksonville. Yeah. Jacksonville, Jacksonville just having like, horny thoughts about, about the, the Cowboys. Dallas, yeah. Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders. <laughs> Which is uh, one of those things where when people say they're turned on by that, they yeah. are living in the 70s still. Yeah. <laughs> if that's their reference for hot that's women. That's the hottest woman I've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> no one gets any hotter. <laughs> than the girl who can cheerlead yeah. for that's the Dallas Cowboys. That's the least Cowboys. amount of clothes I've ever seen a woman wear. <laughs> <laughs> Mary Hartman from three months ago. It's so hard to hear this, Jim. In sixth grade, my older cousin would always see us walking around the hood and say, Girls, you want to ride? This song is playing. Girls giggling. He would just giggle and shake his head. My cousin was kidnapped and murdered for money. <laughs> we miss you. I was like, God, Jesus Christ. Fuck. Turning these comments like, the into like fuck? therapy. Oh, yeah. They're like, oh, this is a cool song. Yeah, anyway, uh, I yeah. was abducted by. Yeah. <laughs> you know, this pedophile used to come around and try to abduct him. <laughs> they killed him. Yeah. This video of the Teletubbies is sick, but like, uh, <laughs> my family was never the same after the fire. <laughs> Funny Masti from three years ago. To all those girls who are out of control after watching this video, call me now yep. or message me on WhatsApp. And then he gives a f real phone number. This is how yeah, it works, by the way. This is how you <laughs> the girls love this. When you, he says <laughs> it's when you write your phone yeah. number on a bathroom wall <laughs> or on a comment section. <laughs> he says, especially those girls who are from Punjab or Chandigarh. Hey, and this is urgent. Please contact me, okay? Thanks. The horniest Indian Contact man me on guy, the WhatsApp, please. Dude, beggars can't be choosers, man. You can't be like, hey, hit me up, but you got to be from this area. How many uh, other videos is that posted no, on? a million. It's a different ethnicity. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, finally, this person is joining our Four Timers Club, uh, Magdalena Cove also appeared on ACDC's You Shook Me All Night Long, Georgia Satellites, Keep Your Hands to Yourself, and Power Man 5000's When Worlds Collide. So uh, she is a eclectic fan, frequent wow. abuser a of YouTube of different comments. Music. Yeah, yeah. there's a lot of different <laughs> oh, yeah. music. Yeah. Well, this is Magdalena Clove from five years ago. Rod, you dress very tacky, stupid ugly fashion mm. <laughs> i dress perfect preach girl <laughs> more money more perfect more flawless need husband now uh -oh. to elope and i'm like hey there's a guy in jacksonville you guys get, get together <laughs> just talking about how good she's doing yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh need husband now to elope and get married then buy me a house and give me a job at the CIA. Yep. <laughs> and I will solve cases. Ooh. Move me up, Trump. Give me a better job. I can make things happen. If you want, I'll prove it to you. Yo. There is a huge forest fire gunning for Hollywood to oh, burn it down. Oh, it's shit. the Hollywood fire. Uh, like, now uh -oh. I understand. Yo, oh, I no. want to see this girl's vision board because it's very specific. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, don't, I think it's... a picture like Mulder and Skull. Yeah. <laughs> the CIA emblem <laughs> and then Rod Stewart. Uh, I think it's probably just, uh, you know, knife carvings on the yeah. wall of a, a home uh, because she continues. There's a huge forest fire gunning for Hollywood to burn it down. Ooh. They have profited off my life and they refuse to pay me f any royalties. Hollywood stole my identity, my thoughts, my words, my experiences, <laughs> and you must know that Yahweh will fight you over me. Man, uh, good for her for standing up to Hollywood. Yeah, dude, someone's got to do it. Oh, there's more. They stole her thoughts. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> someone's got to take them down a pig. Huge fire destroys all movie sets. There's sinkholes, landslides, and ultimately fall in the ocean and celebrities fall in with the city. Hollywood can be judged now. They've had five years to agree with Trump and the CIA and the American government to get me fair compensation five of $7 million. Years. Admit you were wrong, Hollywood. Get with Trump and give me the $7 million. Just you have her, like, info for them to send it to <laughs> No, her, like, no. What's your wiring? Yeah, number? consult the <laughs> yeah. Power Man 5000 video yeah, to yeah, yeah. see. Dude, what's your Venmo? Were man? her other comments like this? Oh, yeah. There was one where it was like, you will all fall to dust and that'd ash. Be, and oh. That'd be so funny if they weren't. They, yeah. they're <laughs> it was all, just like, normal. Completely reasonable. She got hit by, as Sam called it, the government insane ray. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the type where you want to support the government. <laughs> <laughs> Even though you don't seem to trust Hollywood, <laughs> you know, oh. we can work together, government. Well, <laughs> Y'all, I think we've learned so much about Rod Stewart's Do You Think I'm Sexy, our yeah. jam of the week. Hell yeah. <laughs>